In our Catholic tradition, we honor the saints as women and men throughout the centuries who have just struggled and, and tried and succeeded in living faithful lives of discipleship. And two of my favorites, we all have our favorite saints, I have plenty of them, two of my all-time favorites are Saint Monica and Saint Augustine. They lived in the fourth, fifth centuries and um, in North Africa, actually. And uh, Monica is a remarkable example for any of us, especially Christian mothers, who are concerned about the faith of their children because her son Augustine lived kind of a wild and crazy life into his young adulthood. And Monica is an example of one who never gave up on her son and prayed constantly that he would really find Christ and become baptized and live a life of faithful Christianity. Augustine himself, of course, went through a long period of searching for the truth and various philosophies and all. And then after an amazing moment when he opened up the scriptures and found a text there from the New Testament that really struck his heart, he was moved to give himself over to Christ. And he became, in effect, a bishop and someone we call the father of Western theology. His thinking is so important. St. Augustine, when he finally converted to the Lord, wrote his famous book, The Confessions of St. Augustine, and offered this prayer to God. O God, you have made us for yourself. Our hearts are restless until they rest in you. A good reminder for all of us.